Hello, welcome back to UFO 50. Today we're playing number 9, A Tactics. Uh, this is a 1984 one 1-2-player arcade strategy. Carefully arrange your troops for maximum advantage in this game of real-time tactics. Uh, I think I've seen this one from, like, that sprite. That sprite's very memorable on the, on the cover. I think I've seen this in the trailer, and it was one that I was, like, uh skeptical of i would say so let's see let's see how it is <laughs> um the release was delayed because our team spent too long challenging each other to battle okay so maybe maybe primarily a multiplayer game but we'll see how this goes yeah we have got a two-player versus mode oh wow instructions <laughs> units march forward automatically Okay. You can move units up, down, and backward. I see. Get units to opponent's castle to win. Four units. Units that defeat other units get promoted. Okay. Promoted, promoted units do double damage. I see. Each unit has a special ability. All right. That was the instructions. <laughs> Let's get into it. Campaign mode, maybe. Ranked mode, survival mode. There's so many modes. First encounter, grunts take no damage, win in columns. Really? Uh, we got some problems down here, it looks like. Uh, this is like pretty hectic. All right, we've won. Um, I'm not sure I comprehended any of that. <laughs> Archers attack at a distance. All right. I see. It's pretty good. Alright, we gotta get some archers down here, I think. So, when the... One question I have... Can the archer shoot the castle? I don't think so. So... The archer needs to get to the castle to do anything. I feel like an archer is just better than... Oh no, it's not because it's not invincible when in columns. That's the, that's the, that's the difference. Okay, this seems to be going fine. <clears throat> Interesting. Attrition. 30 extra, 30% extra units. Stay out of that column, or row. Something like this. Oh, you can't stack archers. I see. Well, this is a problem. 
try to get a column here. Uh, we are having issues. Oh, it's a column of any units, not just them? Who knew? I didn't. <laughs> uh, we got problems up at to up top, it looks like. We're probably fine. How are they stopping that? Them boys can't attack sideways. All right, we got it. Red wins. Let's uh, move on. This feels like... Uh... This feels like... um. You kind of have to play it a bit single player to learn what the units can do. Like, if I tried to play this multiplayer, would I understand the units <laughs> if I haven't played any of the single player? Uh, like, two player versus. What does this say? Custom? How does custom work? Oh. There's, like, some custom I was supposed to... I see. You're supposed to customize. That's a lot of units, is the thing. <laughs> okay. Fine. Yeah, so I feel like I need to play a little campaign to even understand this multiplayer, if I'm to play this multiplayer at some point. Under fire. Shieldmen block arrows. Okay. That could be useful. troubles here. We're out of shieldmen, for one. Okay, but we, we've created, like, a pincer move here. I think they, they have a big problem. Okay. Again, not sure I'm, like, parsing this. <laughs> Calvary moved twice as fast, I see. Alright, get in there, buddy. Oh, you can't... I see. You can't... Rearrange them once they're past the center line. Alright, we'll try that. Always be moving your archers backwards. Oh, I shouldn't have blocked that archer. Oh, this is a problem. Uh, it has a big problem. <laughs> okay. 
All right, let's try this again. That's a great lineup right there. These are fine. I see your archers move when... Oh, you can't control that guy anymore, of course. Alright, we're making progress here. The horsemen pretty good at fighting other horsemen. I, th I think we've got them beat. I don't know how they recover from this, yeah. Alright. Escalation. Same units, they just got more of them. Alright. Don't line up that guy. Tank one there. Sort of a shame. Oh, that archer is doing two damage. But so did. We're, we've got a real problem here. Uh, they're just gonna win. Alright, fast forward. You got me. Interesting. I. Seems. Difficult. I guess the archers have less health, too. Is a little tricky. Not what we wanted. getting in at the top, but, like, at what cost? They seemingly have a lot of units. Alright, not taking damage there, which is great. Do that again. They got a lot of units. Yeah, that was a mistake. Uh, hold out, men. No. <laughs> it's it's DP seal. Put you here. I 
forgot you could swap units. Alright, we're doing work. I think. E, I think we're doing work. Well, that wasn't great. Alright, we got there. You can't really focus on getting your guys in the enemy base. You kind of just focus on making things good on your side and then your guys just sort of make it to the enemy base that's my that's been my experience so far oh, we only have one flag okay I can't move you I can't move him. Um, this is fine. Seems like our archers are just marching in, I guess, is what's happening. Alright. <laughs> we made it work. Spearmen attacked two spaces in front of them? Okay, if you say so. So do they attack adjacent too, or just two spaces in front of them? I don't know. They attack both spaces in front of them, I think would be a better way to say that. If that's indeed what's happening. Which I guess I'm not convinced of. So how do melee guys do against shield guys? Oh, you break the shield? Interesting. I couldn't get them up there in time. There. Lost an archer. Our defense is too strong. Yeah. Those, like, triple column berserk units are pretty strong. Porcupine style. Gotcha, so we're spearmen and shields versus horsemen. How do the shields guy... Hmm. You can put shields against, uh... Oh, I see. You can put, like... 
spearmen behind shields, huh? Like this? Are we doing anything here? <laughs> Feels like who can get through? Okay, getting hit once removes shields, I guess. I think we're doing all right. We just need to uh, shore up the bottom from the attack, and there's no way they can stop this top attack. Yeah, this is looking solid. Stabby, stabby. All right. It's all working. And so it goes. All right, every unit. So the disadvantage that the AI has is that they can't... They can't rearrange units. I think. so good think this is going fine it sure is that's a shield guy I think we would prefer you not to get past if we can help it Knives out. Assassins throw daggers up and down? Okay. So get you forward, I guess? I got assassined? I see. Interesting. Uh, that's fine. Sacrificial. Something like that. That'll kill you. You guys will trade?
Oh, you can move units up by swapping them? I didn't think about that. Okay. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Poke and dagger. Assassins and spearmen. Huh? Sure. Trade with you all. Uh, we would love to, like, get somebody out of there, but I don't know if we can make that happen. And stop you, at least. Seems okay. Do I have to be out of the way for the assassin to shoot? Like, do they need line of sight? And the tide. Okay, so they just have all them dudes, huh? Shield guy would be nice, I guess. Behind that. Wow. Okay, so if I think about this more like Puyu Puyu or like a, a real-time puzzle game, I'm like more into it. Oh, that's, that's bad down here. I don't think I can fix this. The only way I'd be able to fix this is if I had assassins. But I don't, so we just lose, I think. Oh, here's one. That's not enough damage, though. Oh, that wasn't a total loss because... Uh, it wasn't enough hits. Okay... I mean, we are making this work somewhat. Put you there. A little slow going. That's a better trade there. That's a nice line up there. Get this working for me. Okay, we barely scraped by, but we got there. Ready or not, level 14. I'd like to see new units.
I want something like that. Don't let your good archers escape. Self-destruct when dying. Oh, the guys with the barrels on their back? Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Is that gonna kill the unit behind him, too? Oh, it kills, like, a giant area. Okay. We'd like the spear guy behind the shield guy if we could. Get you back. Almost. We just died to a sapper. I saw that. We can kill you though. So far, it's been largely about me managing my archers, I would say. Like, these archers are crazy! Oh, we lost that archer. Alright, I think we're good. The sappers were not able to infiltrate the archer. Uh, blast damage. Okay, we now have sappers, which is a little scary. Love a spearman behind that? Hey, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Get you out of the way. Move you in. Move you in. Let the sapper die up there. <laughs> it's like some puzzle game swaps you can do here. trouble we are definitely in trouble oh that's a that's brutal I don't think we have this I don't know about you guys. Uh, we'll call that a loss. Oh, man. They don't give me archers, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, we have shields for their archers. What beats spears? Sort of sappers? No. It, like, blows up your own back line. The sappers, like, explode behind them. It's like, you want to get the sappers as deep as possible, I think. Uh, 
Oh no, okay, it blows up forwards. Good to know. Right, so sappers are good defenders, right? I keep getting pushed back by you? Like that. Love a sapper here, maybe. Try to clear out. I mean, that was a decent sapper. All about using sappers uh, well, I think. Yeah, that should do it. that interaction work? Do, does the shield guy get hit? He does. So the shield guy still gets hit in melee against archers? Is that what's going on there? One snuck through, but we got two to sneak through, so we just win, I think. Alright, slightly better sapper usage that time. Weird unit. Guerrilla Warfare. Sappers... Assassins, Horsemen, Shieldmen. All right, let's try it out. Good place for a sapper is up there. Do one of those. turn order stuff there that wasn't great for me. We're having trouble staving them off, I would say. move up through that unit. <sighs> okay, so I'm learning some, some things about melee combat. It seems like in melee combat, the units always just do one damage, regardless of what they are. Well, okay, damage equal to their rank, maybe. So, like, that sapper... Killed a man <laughs> without blowing up. I'm gonna give this a few more shots. Oh, uh, this game's neat. It reminds me of, um. Yeah, I guess like a real time puzzle is what it reminds me of. Oops, we lost the sapper. Can't control your ninjas when they're all the way up there. Let's 
Stay away from that if you don't mind. Oh, you're stuck. Alright, we're not taking damage there. Let's try that again. Okay. Oh, that was gonna die to a ninja anyway, I see. Alright, we got the sapper army there. This seems good. Meet him with sappers up here. Delay that guy one, and then you can sw swap for the sapper. It's a sick tactic. <laughs> hey, this is really neat. Super cool. Um, Let's see what these other modes are. Ranked mode. We might have to learn on the fly what units do. We'll see. Uh, we would love this guy behind that guy, yeah? Oh, they both get hit? But we hit him twice, too. I don't know. Is that a good trade? Well, you're not taking damage the next time. You got an archer on the field? I see, so you just, like, go up in rank, I guess. What's survival mode? I assume you just survive for as long as possible? <laughs> if I had to guess? Okay, you still take range damage when you're like that. You just don't take melee damage, I guess. We would have liked to put... Okay, we've got a problem over there. Yeah, that's a big problem. This guy, he's gonna have to solve it. You're a new problem solver, brother. He seems to be an advanced spearman. that <laughs> got another spearman ninjas are doing work uh we got a ninja you uh we we missed you because of uh, we got you with a another ninja that they didn't know about. Uh, we didn't actually want you to advance into there, I don't think, but... Oh well. Our ninja's dead. Something like that.
Spearman would be nice. Ah. Uh, the swap is always difficult. Let's get you against the that. Okay, we've got our our spearman popping. I cannot get that guy to where I want him. Uh, we've got problems on the bottom, like fatal problems. <laughs> Cool. All right. Seems rad. And then I assume just two player versus is uh advanced. Okay, are there any new units here? Okay, I think we see I think we've seen all the units even. Well, yeah. Everybody except this guy who I guess is It seemed like he was a mix of the spearmen and the Fast Knight? Maybe he has ev the attributes of every unit? I'm not sure. <laughs> so like this? Yeah, just real time. Are you given the same units? You seem to be given the same units in like a mirrored shape. Okay, that's cool. Seems like it might, might be pretty fun, actually. Like a real-time puzzle. Uh, sort of Payu Payu-esque. Yeah, it's about pattern recognition. It's about split attention, too. Like, where where do you use your, your attention the best? I mean, obviously, we're just going to crush this person. Like, so the AI doesn't move um, units, but a player would, right? So, like... The difference between this mode and, and single-player mode is that single-player mode, they just give them way more units. So the difficulty comes from from them having more units than you. Uh, but you can, like, eke out advantages because you are, like, moving and placing units intelligently. So, you know, supposedly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was the tactics. That seems really cool. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. I, I, I was a little worried about the design, but I think that, like, there's some interesting things you can do. I, I really like that you can, like, swap units backwards to, like, move them forward. That's really cool. I like that, yeah, there's, like, a lot of, like, positional uh, strategy, and so... You kind of just got to move units every 10 seconds, and... Uh, Hope you're doing it better than your opponent. Yeah, it's neat. It it like it it works in a way that I didn't expect it to. I didn't think it would like mechanically come together like it does, but it seems to be really solid. What is this like four stars in the top left of this computer playing? Oh, that's when your hero comes. So it's like every unit you kill? No. Every upgrade you get? What gets you stars? Maybe nothing now that the now that the hero spawned? But when you don't have a hero, every time you gain a star Oh no no. Okay, it's gaining stars, it looks like. I think gaining stars. So every five stars you gain, you get a hero? Maybe? Uh... It could be something like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's check out the, the list and see where... A tactics? Is that what this game's called? A tactics. Yeah, that's a pun. Um... Seems pretty cool. Potentially works multiplayer and single player. Uh, it might be right above Magic Garden for me. A, ta a tactic? Tactics? I think that's right. A tactics. Surely that's right. <laughs> yes. All right. 
So a tactics. I think, uh, yeah, I like it better than Magic Garden. Uh, yeah, maybe a little less than Bug Hunter. Rail Heist is really cool. Yeah, like these top games are very good. So it's it's hard to like broach this 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 top five. Uh, yeah, I think it's about up here. I think it has a lot of potential. It has a lot of modes. It has a lot of potential multiplayer too. So I think that's really cool. I'll definitely play more of that. I probably again might wait until uh I get a friend over here and then. Uh, play some of that and see how that goes. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.